Good morning, Aries. This is Will from Will's Cartomancy Tarot. This morning, what I wanted to do was to just give you a quick reading, particularly for, because I know I've neglected to do more readings for you single Aries out there, um, as well as those who are already um, in a relationship. So this, re re this reading is going to combine the two, both singles, as well as those who are already in establishing a relationship. So this morning, Aries, I'm going to be using... Liz Dean's tarot deck, and in this deck, we're only using the major Arcania type cards with uh, two new cards introduced. Okay, and I'll discuss that as we go along. Okay, basically, the, this type of reading is pretty much a divine your lover type spread, and it's designed to kind of show how love might really come to you. Okay, I've already um, shuffled and displayed the cards as we see here. Okay, all of the cards here are above, and these below are below. So let's first look at the past card, your past, the Hermit and the Temperance card. So when you look at this, it says that an old flame or romantic interest, you know, enter your life, but you felt like you were still strangers. He or she returned as if to perhaps have a last go around or to close that chapter in your life for good. And it looks like you felt hurt or slighted because your partner was ignoring you or not including you in his or her promises or commitment. The hermit refers to a Virgo and temperance refers to a Sagittarius. You know, it shows that, you know, the past love or love situation here, what we see here is the hermit. Okay. So it reveals a love retreat in the recent past. It says that since the relationship might have ended, now might be a perfect time for you to kind of heal singles away from familiar surroundings. Perhaps you are taking time to heal past hurts. For those of you in a relationship, this card kind of, you know, brings solitude. Um, he says that you will not turn away from a loving relationship forever. You know, for a time you kind of turn inward and kind of gravitate towards self-love by really exploring your heart and the mind. So this inner journey that this card is suggesting may heal any blocks to intimacy with your partner. So when you have temperance below, it shows that now balance is in order. You know, now's a time for really expertly uh, planning your work and social life singles to kind of ensure you don't miss out on opportunities for love. And this card is suggesting that you might also be reconciled, it looks like, with someone close to you, or you may decide to forgive your own misdeeds and kind of let go of guilt, you know, what this card is kind of suggesting. So for you Aries already in an established relationship, this card says, you know, be mindful of a situation which, if left unattended, may result in a misunderstanding. You know, if a relationship is volatile just now, Try not to kind of let your emotions run away with you, you know, maintain your equilibrium, you know, Aries, by kind of listening to your heart and head really in equal measure, because whatever the situation, patience and diligence is going to help you manage your love life. OK, let's just move right along into present and see your present cards. We have justice and we have charity. So justice, of course, refers to a Libra type person. And it represents somewhat of a, like a love verdict that perhaps might be in the works. So this this might indicate that a relationship or a friendship perhaps will end soon. And for those of you currently in an established relationship, you know, this card says that if you are suffering mistreatment in a relationship, you can certainly look forward to a successful outcome such as an appropriate divorce settlement for those who are looking to move forward with a divorce, you know, in a broader sense, you know, your past action is going to be validated perhaps by the court, or, but certainly before those who matter to you um, the most. And for those of you singles out there who are looking for love, this card says that really if you use perhaps serial dating, perhaps as a way to avoid intimacy, you may miss out on love as your lighthearted attitude might get mistaken for disinterest. You know, this card is saying that it is time to kind of tell the truth about your feelings, okay? Because below we have charity here, and charity, you know, is all about unconditional love, you know? This card shows that uh, the love verdict for those of you in, that want to get out of a relationship is going to go in your favor. And for Aries, again, currently in an established relationship, 
You know, this card says that, you know, you really share great love and passion, which brings happiness to others, particularly close friends, relatives of children. You know, this card indicates long term relationship or love between two people, perhaps mature in years. And again, for those of you who are single, this card ushers in an older person, it seems, that might come to you or someone who has evolved in his or her outlook, you know, whom you'll soon meet. You know, if he or she presents you with a gift, it is a sign of, you know, his or her, you know, genuine love rather than a need to really, really impress you. OK, let's move right along to the future cards. We have the Magician in Hope. So the Magician, of course, it refers to a Gemini in or Virgo. And for you singles, it looks like that you will become a bit serious. It, it looks like perhaps I'm feeling a Gemini, Virgo, or Sagittarius very soon that might be coming into your life. Because th with these cards, the future really looks more, it looks promising as it will bring new love or perhaps a strength in old love. And again, for you singles, your circumstances will be perfect for meeting a partner. You know, as a shared creative interest will kind of bring you really closer to a, a, a garrulous, you know, inventive individual who may live by his wits or uh, wills. You know, I'm kind of feeling a friend could also potentially become a lover overnight. So it could be somebody that you're already talking to that it may develop into a more stable relationship for you. But for you individuals currently in a relationship, um, you can make your love magical because you can see the potential in your relationship. You know, together you're going to have companionship, trust, and passion. And this realization is going to lead you to kind of a new way of living. You know, and, and like I said, with, with the whole card falling below, this card says that those, again, in an established relationship that are wanting to kind of reconcile or, or reach out and, and get back with a past partner from whom you've been estranged, um, this card kind of forebodes well for that because it shows that you're going to reconcile your differences uh, and you're going to renew your bonds and you know, this card is almost a second chance at love card, not only for you in an established relationship, for you singles too, that, you know, this is going to give you a second chance for a new relationship, regardless of the patterns that, you know, of old failed relationship. So you singles are certainly just going to sense that love is in the air and, and an aura of attraction is going to surround you. That's, you know, kind of what I'm kind of saying. And this will be a magical or restorative time during which I'm feeling that you're going to have a chance to start a new in love and kind of leave behind old memories that are really no longer relevant to your life now. So whatever your situations, um, Aries, your prayers are going to be answered. And it's, you know, not only for you singles out there, but it's also for you, uh, those who are currently involved in a relationship. So Aries, this is what I have for you this morning. And, um, I like to Certainly hear your comments as you always submit me your comments. I certainly enjoy hearing them. And I will, as always, be posting more interesting readings for you guys. And again, for you, for, for those of you uh, who have yet to subscribe, please take a moment to subscribe. Um, and I look forward to assisting you um, later on in the future. And if any of you guys would, would like a more personalized reading, you can certainly send me over an email at WAT. 61073 at gmail.com. Enjoy your day.